Hey everyone, just doing a catch up video uh, today on some of the things that I've been doing um, for the last couple of months. Um, I have been actually quite busy, uh, even though I'm trying to uh, try to juggle everything around so that I've got enough time uh, to get stuff done that I want to get done without um, focusing too much on one thing and not enough on, on another. Um, one of the biggest things that I have been doing over the last uh, probably month uh, is getting back into my schedule of sending stuff out for the stuff that people that have bought um, that have been waiting. Um, I'm sorry that it's taken so long, um, but all the gear is being sent out. I'm sending another two boxes uh, tomorrow, I think, and then I think I'm, I'm down. I've only got like two or three boxes of gear to send, and then that's it. Everybody will be sent, and everybody be happy and we'll start again uh, probably at that point that's when I'll offer because um, I know people have been asking what's happening to the brand new um, old stock PGM third and fourth player cables that I've got um, and when are they going to be offered for sale and, and, and when can we have those uh, I'm going to try and put them out probably next month I think we'll be all right I think they're going to be somewhere around $30, $35 for a cable plus post. Uh, but they are brand new, never been used um, cables. Um, so yeah, I've been trying to find more. haven't found any yet, but um, yeah, not not too easy to find stuff that is actually yeah, brand new, brand new old stock basically. Um, so yeah, so hopefully um, December I'll get them out. Uh, if anybody's interested about them, please let me know because I only have a limited amount of them. I think I've only got seven or eight cables and probably four or five of them have already been spoken for. So there's not many left. So if you are interested, um, the easiest way is just to either email me or jump on my Discord channel uh, and message me through there and I can put your name on the official list so that you don't miss out. Uh, especially if you want one. Uh, I'm limiting the quantities just to one person per cable, um, just so to make it fair so that everybody gets a cable, um, but I don't think that should be a problem. Uh, later down the track, I may be able to get some used cables, which are still fine anyway, uh, and then people can get extra cables um, that way. Next thing I want to get onto is this guy that I've got in front of me here. This is, I've uh, been talking about my X86 uh, compatible tablets that I've been doing work on, the Fujitsu ones. This is one of them. This is the guy here. Um, there's a bit of glare on the screen. Try not to get too much glare and still be able to show you it. Um, so yeah, so these are the guys that I've been working with. They've got a mobile Celeron 500 megahertz on board uh, and you can put up to 256 meg of RAM. Uh, so these will run DOS, uh, like Windows 95, Windows 98, Windows 98 SE, 2000 and XP. Um, I've personally run DOS. This is the night. This is my 98 SE machine. So this is 98 SE uh, and Windows XP um, are all the versions that I've currently run on these guys, and they run really, really well. I've actually got a page on my web page for these guys, like on how to do stuff with them, etc. Because there's not a lot of info uh, about them out there on the web. Um, so there is actually a, a page on my website about them, uh, giving hints and tips and stuff, and quite a few, I've got a few mods, uh, like clocking these down. These are 500 megahertz uh, Celeron and mobile, as I said. Um, I've, I, I've got a patch where you can um, clock them down to 333, megahertz instead uh, just makes them run a little bit cooler but still fast enough for dos and 98 se etc etc so they're pretty cool they're about a hundred bucks um for them australian i think that's right it's either 100 us or 100 australian um and yes i know there's a difference between the two because the exchange rate to the us dollar is absolutely terrible um so yeah but that's them there so they've they've got one of the cool things is they've got like a mini keyboard here uh, and you can control most of what it does just by touching your, your stylus you know one of these dudes on those buttons there. there's enough there to do most things um which is really really handy idea i don't know why more people didn't do that um but really 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 handy uh and then on the back you've got your yep, the battery uh battery hard drive ram so that's all loaded in there 
Um, they're pretty easy to work with. Um, I've got on there how to put a new uh, real-time clock RTC battery in them. Um, it's only, I think, like six or seven screws. The whole back comes off as one piece, and then the battery just sits there, and you can just solder up your own battery. Uh, it's actually plug-in, uh, but not a socket. It's, it's actually on a lead. So, so like, like that sort of thing, your battery on a little lead. It's not them, but that's just an example. Um, I've got pictures of it and how to do it on my web page, the tech web page of, of these as well. So yeah, so that's that's these guys. They're really, really cool. Um, I'm really enjoying them. I, I love any X86 uh, stuff that's a little bit odd or a little bit different. So like tablet PCs like this uh, or um, miniature computers like the Libretto, uh, which was a Japanese only thing. These things are interesting because they have Japanese and English language on them. But I've never seen them for sale in Japan, which is um, a little bit odd. Normally stuff like this, because it's sort of a bit niche market, uh, normally gets sold in Japan, you know, first up because it's that's that's their target market. So, um, yeah, so I actually get these from America. That seems to be where they're all hiding these days. So uh, if you're interested in one, you can always you know, visit my site and have a bit of a read uh, or jump on to eBay USA or if you've got a proxy um, eBay USA, uh, jump in there and, and, and get them and you'll um, get them. So yeah, so that's them. Radio, next thing. I've got a bit of a list here. I'm trying to work through it so I can make sure I keep on track. Uh, PGM2. Uh, I will be expanding my PGM2 um, part of my website uh, probably early next year. Um, I have got a new project at the moment that I'm working on, which I'm going to do a, um, a separate video for. Uh, so I won't put that in here because it'll get mixed up and I want to do just a video just on the PGM2 stuff that I've been doing. Uh, but that is happening, so that's pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to um, uh, buy a heap of, of PGM2 gear in my dad's memory. Um, he always liked all the technical stuff that I did. Uh, not that he understood most of it. Some of the time he, he was a bit over his head, but he definitely did enjoy it. And, um, yeah, he was always really happy with me doing that sort of thing. So I thought that was a, a fitting thing to buy, you know, a heap of PGM2 gear, which I don't have, so that I can expand that part of my website and do it in his memory at the same time. Um, because that's that's very, very important to me on a personal level as well. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot to say with these, you've got your PCMCAA slot in the, in the side, which is, I've got a wireless card in there at the moment. I forgot to say that, so, whoops, just jumping around there a little bit. Um, I'm doing some more Game Boy uh, translation technical videos, too. I'll be doing some more of those. Um, so I've got my little, this is one of my little units that I have, so I'm doing some more stuff on that. Uh, I did a video on making your own translated cartridges. So I did the first video, now I've got to do the second and third videos, uh, and there'll probably be a couple more to, to that as well. Uh, but they're just waiting on some donor cards to come in, and then I'll be doing the, I think it's the first video, the next one I'm doing is actually on actually making them yourself. So it'll be on soldering and, and actually doing all the, the actual hard stuff that you've got to do to do. Um, it's it's easy once you know, um, but if you're new to it, then it can be a little bit difficult, but I'll go through all that in the video, um, so that's coming up. Now, more PGM stuff, Fluffy's uh, Cave Shooter PCBs, um, which have been delayed for quite a while, um, are now on their way to me, uh, a batch, not a huge batch, but enough that I, I think I should be able to do all of the orders that are outstanding. Uh, so anybody who's got uh, cave cartridges that are outstanding, um, I should be doing them very, very soon. I'm just going to go through and make up a whole heap of cartridges and then send them all out in one big go. Um, it's probably the most uh, time-effective way of doing it. Um, so that's that happening. Um, I bought a new webcam. Um, the videos that I do here, and including this one that I'm doing now, uh, is all done with my old uh, Samsung S5 mobile, which is, like, really, really old. Um, so I bought a 4K... Uh, webcam uh, camera to, to, to do so I can do videos at a bit higher res and um, a bit better quality um, plus if I want to do any uh, YouTubing which has actually got me in the the actual videos um, the webcam will be good for, for doing stuff like that 
Uh, if I have to help anybody out via the net, um, doing a two-way doing video conferencing to help them out with any arcade stuff or electronics or whatnot, um, the 4K even at 2K will look a lot better than my 720 uh, DPI one that I've got here at the moment, which is just yeah, it's it's okay, but it's just not enough. So I've got that little guy. So that's the next one. Now, last on the list is my consoleized uh, PGM that I've been working on. Uh, it'll be, have another video on its on itself. Uh, it has been delayed. Um, I'm just trying to get all the plastics finished. I'm trying to get all the physical stuff done so that I can actually design the shape of where the PCB sits, and then I can start working on the PCB. Uh, so for now, it's it's just being it's at the plastics place, basically just getting uh, the next uh, our iteration um, of the prototype done. Uh, hoping to get that back. Uh, probably not this week, maybe next week, uh, and then I can do another video on that, so that will be cool. So there you go guys, that's all I really wanted to catch up on, uh, since I've been a bit behind for my uh, YouTube videos, and, and that's why I have, because I've got all this stuff going on. Uh, so I just wanted to do a catch up video. If you found this handy and want to see more videos like this, just let me know. Thanks guys.